Hello everybody. Today we are going to continue the normal flora of human body. I am Dr. Sharad Deshmukh from SSJSR College, Arjuni Morga. Today we will continue the next part that is the normal flora of urogenital tract. In this case, the Mycobacterium smegmatis is the common common cell present in the secretions of genitalia of both the male and the female. Its presence in urine can cause the confusion in the tubercle bacilli. So this is the most important point you should note that the presence of this Mycobacterium spegmatis may cause the confusion in the diagnosis because the presence of this organism uh, can be similar to the Mycobacterium tuberculosis and hence it will create the confusion because this is the normal the mycobacterium spegmatis is normally present but it may confuse with the tubercle bacilli mycoplasma and ureoplasma are the more frequent in both the sexes gardnerella vaginalis bacteroides and alpha hemolytic streptococci are found in the pineal urethra in this case the female urethra is either sterile or contains the Staphylococcus epidermidis. Vagina of the newly born child is sterile, but it gets colonized within 24 hours with enterococci and the diphtheroids. In 2-3 to three days, vaginal secretions become acidic and this is due to the maternal estrogens induces the glycogen deposition in the vaginal epithelium and this glycogen facilitates the growth of the lactobacillus and which ultimately ferment the glycogen to produce the acid hence in two to three days of vaginal secretions that becomes the acidic and flora of the few weeks is similar to that of the adult during the pregnancy, the Staph epidermidis, lactobacilli and the yeast that will increase in the number during this particular pregnancy period. The pubertal flora persists throughout the reproductive period till the menopause. So this is also most important uh, aspect in the normal flora of the urogenital tract, particularly in the female, the pubertal flora persists throughout the reproductive period till the menopause. Normal flora of vaginal flora includes the Clostridia, anaerobic streptococci, bacteroid species, Gardnerella vaginalis, diphtheroids, Listeria, and Candida albicans. Here we conclude the normal flora of the human body. Thank you.